when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can Welcome back friends I hope you're doing well I'm going to show you how I make this powder facial cleanser it's a hydrating moisturizing facial cleanser feels so good on your skin it lathers well um, it's not drying um, on your skin um, so this is a great alternative if you want a preservative free product um, so I'm going to show you exactly how I make this I'm going to show you step by step um, so let's jump right in and if this is your first time stopping by my name is Esther and I make DIY natural hair and skincare videos and I also sell my products on my website. I'll have that linked in the description box if you want to check that out. So let's jump right in. I'm going to get started weighing out all my ingredients and the complete recipe will be listed in the description box. I list all my um, ingredients in grams so that will be in the description box. Um, so I'm getting started weighing out my surfactant. Um, for this uh, formulation I'm using a powdered surfactant. Um, this is a water free um, formulation so I'm going to be using SCI as my powder surfactant um, there are several options you can try out you can try out SLSA you can also try out SCS um, you can do a Google search as well um, but you want to be careful when using SCI you want to make sure you have on a mask a respirator just so you don't breathe in the powder as it's very fine um, so I'm just going to weigh that out. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Next is colloidal oats. Um, this is going to soothe your skin. It helps with itching. It also helps to lock in moisture and it also has anti-inflammatory benefits. Um, so to this, I'm also going to add in uh, my honey powder. Honey is a natural antiseptic. It also helps to moisturize your skin and cleanse your skin. Um, so because you're using a surfactant, you want to make sure you're adding in moisturizing and hydrating ingredients. I'm also using some kaolin clay. Um, so kaolin clay is going to help absorb excess oil. It's also good for uh, sensitive skin because it's a mild and gentle clay. Um, there are other options you can use as well depending on your skin type. Um, there's bentonite clay, there's French green clay, there's red clay. Um, so there are so many options you can try out just depending on your skin type. Um, so to this I'm going to add my rose kaolin clay. Rose kaolin clay also helps to exfoliate your skin, um, reduce irritation and also remove dirt and oil from your uh, pores. Next is arrowroot powder. Arrowroot powder helps to reduce um, oiliness on your skin. It also has um, anti-inflammatory benefits. It's also going to improve the skin feel um, of this cleanser when you use it. Go, 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 go. You got a mind, but even that could change. You could flip the gray matter like some batter in your I'm adding in some marshmallow root powder. This is going to help provide uh, hydration for your skin and it's going to help your skin retain moisture. Um, the only thing I don't like is the color. It changes the color of your cleanser, but it still has amazing benefits. Um, to this, I'm adding in my green tea powder. Um, so green tea is rich in antioxidants. It helps to reduce um, redness on your skin it has amazing anti-inflammatory benefits and anti-aging benefits as well um, so all i'm going to do is just gently mix everything all up you don't want the powder flying everywhere um, so just mix carefully and do your best to 
um, get everything well mixed and well blended. So after mixing everything all up, the next thing I'm going to do is to check the pH. Um, so even though this is a powder based um, cleanser, you still want to check the pH. Um, you want to make sure that this uh, product is within the pH of your skin. And um, that's between 4.5 to 5.5. That's the range of your um, skin's pH. So still the same process. I'm still going to use my pH meter. Um, I'm just going to weigh out a small amount of product and to that I'm going to add some um, distilled water uh, Mix everything really well and then I'm going to use my pH meter to take the reading um, And when I did the initial reading it was at 5.8 um, So I'm going to make an adjustment to the pH and to do this I'm going to use some citric acid um, I usually use the liquid citric acid solution, but because this is a water-free product, I'm going to be using the citric acid powder. And it's still the same process. You want to add just a little uh, bit of citric acid powder, mix it into your product really well, and then follow the process for checking the pH. You're still going to weigh out a small amount of product, add some distilled water, mix it well, and then take the reading with your pH meter. Um, you can also use pH strips, they are just not as accurate. So the final reading was 4.41 and the uh, reading of 5.8 is also fine. It's close to the pH of your skin, but I wanted to show you how to adjust um, the cleanser with the citric acid powder. But this is what it's looking like. Um, it has a shelf life of between 6 to 12 months, just depending on the expiration dates of your individual ingredients. But you can customize this. You can add your botanical powders, extracts. Um, but I'm going to go on and show you how well it lathers. It lathers so well. It feels so good on your skin. It has a hydrating, moisturizing feel. No drying effect at all. Um, so I'm sure you're going to enjoy this formulation. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, but this ladders really well. And since this product does not contain preservatives, uh, make sure you do not get um, water in your main container to avoid contamination, bacteria, mold from growing in your product um, but i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you found this helpful uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you've not and also turn on your notifications so you don't miss any new videos that i upload and also please like this video because that really helps me out and if you have any questions just leave that in the comments below and i'll do my best to answer your questions and i'll see you in the next video bye But even that could change You could flip the gray matter Like some batter in your brain uh, That's why they say Fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game Then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to a 